TradeMoneyATM.com. <laughs> I, I'm a retail trader, right? right? I'm a sophisticated retail trader. And real quick, once um, again, retail, I, the difference between retail, because this is a question I had, the basic difference, and correct me if I'm wrong, all right, individual versus a, a group. Our institution, yeah. Institution that's allowed, you know, to get together and come. See, and that's another thing that I found interesting is that basically the big deal is these people didn't have permission to do what they did, right? <laughs> Because <laughs> you can, you okay. know, you can be a hedge fund and get, you know, and you can do what they did if you go, you know, if you do it like they do it. But see, uh, you know, but okay, go ahead, go ahead. My bad, I didn't mean to. Right. <laughs> but that's no, the, you're, the you're right. Yeah, that's a right. You're you're right. That is definitely uh, yeah. correct. A hundred percent right. So there is no law that says I can't buy a stock. Right. Um, it is. So I think people also. Let's look at another uh, term before we move forward, right? Yeah. Uh, market manipulation, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna type that in. And when I type it in, let me. I'm just. This is hilarious. It pulls up market manipulation crime, market manipulation Reddit, market manipulation Robinhood, market manipulation GameStop, right? right. This is you know how Google whatever people are searching for. But let me go to market manipulation definition, definition right? Definition, yeah. See how you got to right. be very and, specific there. Right. So what it says here, Wikipedia, market manipulation is a type of market abuse where there is a deliberate attempt to interfere with the free and fair operation of the market and create false or misleading appearances with respect to the price of or market for a product, security, or commodity. Now, that's a lot of words. Yeah. What I'm, I'm gonna Just put it in simplify that please, in, for me. Right. For for me, oh, yes. Everybody does. basically manipulating by providing false or misleading, right? Mm-hmm. Information as it refers to the price, market, product, commodity, the companies, right? Mm-hmm. And this interferes with free and fair, right? right. Free and fair. Fair. So keyword fair. When you think about the leverage that the hedge fund has, allows it to put out a report that says, ah, we think this is going down, going down. which the media then takes and start the, the pundits, the talking heads, yeah, we, you know, based, and they go by the research. Now, it's not bad research. They literally research, and I agree, GameStop's business model is a dying business model sure, sure but it does not mean that the company has to die totally die. <laughs> right right exactly. right and and it could change and evolve and be vangloriously grown into to the leader of its because it, ha- exactly. it has its name has its brand it has the ability you know it has a lot right 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 sure. but is it market manipulation when the hedge fund puts out their newsletter that's you know <laughs> it is it is research uh-huh. and it is at the end of the day also their opinion right right their opinion right exactly. um researched backed opinion yes is it misleading mm. but does it affect things yes right and so self-fulfilling power and prophecy of a billionaire telling people x and i always go back to this thing when i was telling people jump into bitcoin i I was into bitcoin and i really i wasn't telling people what to do when i told people that it was a great idea to get bitcoin (laughs) right hey this is what (laughs) i'm doing yeah, you know, I'm not think, a broker, a financial yeah. advisor. Right. Uh, and I was telling people about Bitcoin at $5, mm-hmm. $50, 500 bucks. Right. You had people like a uh, billionaire investor, Warren Buffett, who I you know respect in general, mm-hmm. telling people Bitcoin is rat poison. <laughs> Mind you, at the same time, he invested in banks that were very vested in cryptocurrency and right. the blockchain, right? right? So he increased his holding position while not directly uh, <laughs> buying Bitcoin, right. uh, but profiting from the rise of Bitcoin at the same time. Yeah, sure. And so people, regular average retail 
investors. Yes, us retail. Investors. <laughs> Did not. We're like, oh, I'm not getting into that. That's a scam. That's fake money. That's digital money. Yeah, I want digital. real paper money, right? Digital money. And that's us. Yes. That's the whole. One. Have a whole nother uh, episode or yeah. <laughs> session. Still, I, we can yeah, talk that about still are that, saying right? today. People right. are still saying and so, it's just digital. Because, right. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. So yeah. So <sighs> literally. <laughs> people stayed away from Bitcoin at $50. Yes. Bitcoin was 40,000 bucks. Had you bought it at 50 bucks, <laughs> you would have had the greatest investment in the history of man so far. You would have, have turned $50 your... into 40,000. Yes. Had you bought it at 500, you would have made the greatest investment that in your family your history. Historic probably. moment, yes. For your right. family, had your you bought situation. Bitcoin at 1,000 bucks and it went to 40,000, you cashed out, you would have, you know, whatever. Again, yes. But, the whole thing is, so yeah, when you have power, I think in a way it's kind of, um, and I wouldn't call it manipulation, but it affects, it, affects, it creates. Let's be, yeah, right. let's be as as mild as we can be or whatever, but right, we're not going to say, hey, these people are doing this on purpose, but like you said, at the very least, it affects the market, because what's the market? Right. It's people. What do yes. people make yes. these decisions based people. on? Their emotions or their, you know, their trust in said um, authoritative source, right? Where they right. get their information. But, yeah. Right. And and here's here's the here's the kicker, right? Uh-huh. Retail investors control over media versus hedge funds <laughs> who yeah. are uh in you know, they are banks, hedge funds, oligarchs, families, whatever, who have, uh, if not a direct investment in media, they have friends and family members who own media, right? Right, right. Who owns media, right? You know, look up who owns whatever media um, outlet, right? Right. So if you look up a media outlet, (laughs) right? Um, and let's say uh, there's six media giants according to this thing. You see, so once again, h- here's something, right? Mm-hmm. I'm talking to you and I'm just trying to prove a point as I'm talking to you about how easily accessible information is, right? So here's something. As of September 2020, the six media giants are AT&T, bought Time Warner, CBS, Comcast, Disney, News Corp, the parent company of Fox News and Viacom, right? right? Mm -hmm. Now, all right, if you look into the families of the people like Sumner Redstone and those people, they have uh, family offices. They have big, so yeah, they're the group, their money and their family is is part of the group. And also, uh, you know, have direct investments with hedge funds. They're basically united. They're they work together. They're and I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm not going to say it's it's fake news, uh, you know, or something like that. I'm just saying that you know, there's a connection with each other. There's a Right. relationship there is yes. um not only a relationship it's actually there's there's a like almost like a a membrane fiduciary it's financial it's you know it's family it's and retailers for the most part we're not that <laughs> we're the outside 99 percent looking in exactly right so exactly. why uh <laughs> would their ideas not be disseminated through their media <laughs> outlets. <laughs> they have control. It's centralized control, right? Right. Right. Shamir Perlick, you in the building for the ATM podcast. Be sure to hit that like button and hit that bell notification button to be notified every time we drop a new episode. Follow on all social media at Pearly Q, ATM Podcast. We'll see you guys in the next video. TradeMoneyATM.com